after Peter Safran and James Gunn were named co-CEOs of the newly formed DC Studios, they decided to enact a new vision. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more videos. With this, they chose to move away from the DC Extended Universe canon, launched by Man of Steel, and start a DCU run. Of course, these changes have kept the fates of a few well-known heroes from the films involved, including Gal Gadot's Diana Prince, also known as Wonder Woman. While it appears that another installment of the character's franchise is on the way, World War III is not in business. In the studio now, amid ongoing speculation about what awaits Diana on the big screen, Linda Carter is considering why not moving forward with a third film right now. Before the sequel Wonder Woman, 1984 is released simultaneously in theaters and on Max in 2020 director Patty Jenkins revealed that she has plans for a third film and knows how the arc of the eponymous heroine will end. However, WW84 ultimately received mixed to negative reviews and made no impact at the box office amid the coronavirus crisis and due to the simultaneous release. Now, while the series remains in limbo, Linda Carter told Yahoo! Entertainment, which believes that DC and Warner Bros., they lack motivation to complete the story. I don't understand why the character isn't a priority for DC anymore. Yes, 1984 didn't live up to expectations, but Gal Gadot's Diana is still very popular among fans. The franchise has also built some goodwill over the years, despite the underperformance of sequels. When the first Wonder Woman movie was released, some considered it the DCEU's best film to date. He was actually a breath of fresh air, compared to the usual unlikely hero trope of feeling obligated to take responsibility for his powers. So I have to say I support Mrs. Carter on this. In December 2020, Wonder Woman 3 appeared to be making progress, as it was announced that Gal Gadot and Patty Jenkins would be returning for the third installment. It even seemed possible that Linda Carter could have a role in the potential film after her appearance as Amazon Warrior Asteria in this after Peter Safran and James Gunn were named co-CEOs of the newly formed DC Studios, they decided to enact a new vision. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more videos. With this, they chose to move away from the DC Extended Universe canon, launched by Man of Steel, and start a DCU run.